Oh my god, you can hear the rain, can't you? Right, where are you? There she is. <laughs> oh my god, look at my hair. Wow, what a great start to this video. <laughs> Hello equestrians, welcome back to my channel. I am going to attempt to get in the Christmas spirit today, hence the hat, for the first day of Vlogmas. <laughs> feeling it right now if we take a little gander outside it is absolutely pinning it down which doesn't feel particularly Christmassy but luckily I have my new Equidry coat on which I will keep you guys posted on what I think of that um, but yeah it is currently keeping me nice and warm and dry um, but yes I have a few things planned I think I might try and decorate Pepper's stable I don't actually have anything to decorate her stable with currently, so might mean a bit of Christmas shopping. <laughs> um, but I do have a Christmas fleece for Peps from Ponyo, so I'm gonna grab that out now and put it on her because I think that might help to start getting the Christmas vibes going. Maybe put some Christmas music on while I'm uh, mucking out and we'll see how we get on. Right, Peps is nice and clean because Nicola very kindly groomed her for me yesterday. Ignore the fact that she is a, a woolly mammoth at the moment. Um, one of the Vlogmas videos planned does involve her being clipped so I'm kind of saving that. So you're just going to have to put up with this <laughs> for the time being. Um, but yes, it's a nice clean slate to put the rug on. So I'm going to get it out. <laughs> Look at you! Stop and look! Christmas! There's nothing in it yet because Santa hasn't been. I'm sorry. Oh. It's like, what? Do you like it? Oh. oh. I think she likes it. So that will be going outside with the rest of the decorations. Do you think I should stick to the colour theme? Like with the tinsel and that. We'll do red and green or something. Very traditional. There's me wanting to get a black Christmas tree for it. <laughs> not traditional at all. Oh. I'm kind of scared to leave her in this because I know full well she will lay down. <laughs> How cute is that? Right, hang on. Why can I not do this? I swear I can undo rugs. I'm trying not to get it on the floor. That's why I've got it over here. I know you won't get dirty. It's only strong. Look! Oh, they're down there. Oh, they come away completely. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute! All I want for Christmas <laughs> is you! Pepsi's like, I want a different look owner. Someone who doesn't dress me up all stupid all the time. Oh no! <laughs> I think it is going to fit her. has such a big chest. Are you filming me? Are you sure? <laughs> you can tell Claire's not used to being behind the camera. Of course I am. <laughs> you used to be in front of the camera. Yes. <laughs> See? Oh, this is so cute. Oh, he's pretty. Peppa! What are you going to ask Father Christmas for? I've been very good this year. I want lots of mints. I think it's quite cool that we can completely detach them. We've probably done that too long now. She not fat. <laughs> God. You want a bed? She's quite round, you know. <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, I have been a little bit too generous there. See? <laughs> Sorry, Peps. Mum thinking, Peppa. But how cute is that? Oh, Ooh, I love you. What have we got? We've got a little, a little pony or pony there in disguise Ooh. as a reindeer. Little Christmas trees, holly, some candy canes. And I thought actually that this was black, but if you come in, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but 
It's just like a nice green. Yeah. How cute! Look at the fluffy collar as well. That's so cute. <laughs> I'll put your ears forwards. She's like, no, I am not in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> I do not need to go on a diet. I'm quite ready to get my Christmas game on. With lots of festive treats, which we'll put in your stocking. Why is it that there's always one that seems to go up really easily? And then the other one, don't. And then the other one's like, nope. How did I do that one three? Hello. I really want a nice picture of her in it, but I can't even take her outside for one. Well, no. Unfortunately, we're meant to have this weather for the next few days. This cat does not want to stay on my head. Aww. Pepper! You're so cute! <laughs> I don't know the words for this one. So bad, just pop along. <laughs> <Yee>. <laughs> Mix all my good bedding in with the dirty. Tut tut, pet you like proper trash to bed. I'm getting in the Christmas spirit, but I'm certainly getting warm. <laughs> Bloody hell, take your time! <laughs> Is that really another word? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop a little bed down handy bale down because unfortunately due to the weather no one seems to be turning their ponies out so Pepsi's is going to have a day in the stable and she was in yesterday so even though she's still got quite a thick bed these handy bales are so nice to have for when they're stuck in if you don't want to you know keep putting a full bale down you can just put because these are the equivalent to half of one of the normal bales so you can kind of put half a bale down as and when they need it so yeah, they're very handy and you can order them from the website. I also have a discount code for new customers. So if you want to use that, I will leave that down below. And yeah, just nice and handy as it is called. <laughs> handy to have. Just thought I'd show you how much coverage I got on the bed from that little handy bale. Obviously it's not pristine white like I would normally have it from a full bale. But it still looks nice. It looks like a bit like snow, you know, and it's been walked in a little bit. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So yeah, still sticking to the festive theme peps. Nice white bed, looks like snow. You got your Christmas rug on. I think we're starting to feel a bit more festive. <laughs> Decided to have a little ride because peps is stuck in. So we need to get you out of the stable, don't we? And we've gone for mustard yellow. I've got a mustard yellow base layer underneath. This is a fleece lined one from Linnea's Equestrian. And then peps has her mustard lemure saddle pad on. <laughs> As you can see, she's got a grackle on now, which I have a lot to update you guys on, um, but let's just say she kind of prefers it. She's going really, really nicely for me in it. So yeah, for now, that seems to be working. This is from LW Equine, and it's all kind of pieced together because her head is very awkwardly shaped. Um, but yeah, the yellow's not really that Christmassy, but um, well, do you know what, actually? It could be the butter that you butter your turkey with. It could be the star on top of your tree because <laughs> it's kind of goldy yellow so star you know yeah it's still kind of Christmassy we made it Christmassy we made it Christmassy we made it work didn't we yeah we make it work she does not look interested at all I don't really want to take her in the school but this weather is so unpredictable like at the moment it's not raining like it's just chill but the minute it comes down it really comes down I know I'm fine in my equi driver I'm gonna ride with Claire and uh, I don't think she would be so lucky if we went out so plus she has um, a full loan horse now um, but there's still a new partnership so uh, still a lot that they haven't done so I don't necessarily want to go out today so yeah unfortunately the school it is even though we're probably going to be in the school again tomorrow for our lesson but yeah all tacked up let's go have a little ride don't think I'm going to be filming any of it but yeah we'll go for a little ride Ginger Ninja's having his first little wander down the lane. Doing very good so far. Pep's was very good in the school. Well, they're both good in the school. But yeah, just giving them a leg stretch because they're stuck in today. Oh, where are you going, mate? <laughs> but it is miserable today. <laughs> 
must admit, I am loving this equi dry coat. Can't really tell, but my legs are. There you go. And I think the back of it is dangling over Peps a little bit. Hard to show you, to be honest, but yeah, really liking it. Feel nice and toasty and warm and dry. You can actually, can I show you? You see the droplets on it. So you can kind of see how water resistant it is. So yeah, enjoying that. First time wearing it today and I'm loving life. Nice and warm, nice and dry. I can't believe how orange your horse is. <laughs> or I would totally get matching pyjamas. Sorry I'm recording from my phone and that it's late at night, but you can probably tell that I didn't get to go shopping until quite late. I got home from the yard and I was just exhausted. Um, so I ended up having a long nap and I still feel tired. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, Tesco's wasn't yielding. I didn't get much from Tesco's to be honest. So more shopping tomorrow. I will get this stable decorated at some point, guys. <laughs> I don't know what this vlog is so far like it's just me continuing to not do what I set out to do <laughs> I have all of the good intentions but yeah I guess this just is how my life is now and you, if you're here for the ride you're here for the ride so if you are thank you very much for sticking around but you get a bit of an insight now into what it's like to be a horse mum and a mum and yeah just trying to juggle being poorly and looking after a horse and looking after a poorly kid and yeah um but hopefully tomorrow i can get some proper decorations and we can get it looking good well guys i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit disappointed with my tesco's haul there's not a lot there is there considering like it's the 7th of december they didn't have any christmas trees which i was hoping to get a new christmas tree as well while i was there um, but I picked up this uh, Christmas jumper. I needed a Christmas jumper for Vlogmas. This one is so soft as well, so I really like that. Then I picked up a little hanging mistletoe because Peps likes to give kisses from like over a door, so I thought that would be really cute. And then I got some baubles, trying to stick to the uh, the colour scheme of her ponio rug. So like the green, red, and gold. There's a couple of random like bluey coloured ones in there, but yeah. But even like the tinsel. They only had um, luxury tinsel for three pound. I'm like, I'm not doing that when it's going outside a stable door, and it's probably not even going to stay there for that long because Peps is going to try and eat it. So yeah, very disappointed with that. But what I did get, I do like. It's just there wasn't much there, so I need to go shopping still to get some tinsel. That's what we need more than anything. Maybe some little fairy lights, but. Yeah, I've made a start, guys. That's something. I have made a start finally. I did manage to go shopping, but yeah, I need to I need to get some more bits. Let's try again tomorrow. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You've got fed down bedding. <laughs> Let me guess, the rug's ruined. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. We've definitely had a good sleep. Where is your advent calendar? It's hiding. It's hiding. Where are we? Seven? Seven? I don't think you had yesterday's one, actually. That's a bad mummy. Oh, my fingers are so cold. I can barely get it out. Oh no! It's fallen off the wall. <laughs> Here we go. Well, I feel like Pips is certainly feeling more in the Christmas spirit than I am. <laughs> yes, is that tasty? Let's see, did I give you number six? I don't think I did. Oh, you might be in for two treats in one day, Pips. That's very indulgent. Oh, here we go. I found it. I found it. I found it. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Right, not having any more now. You've got to wait till tomorrow. I <laughs> can't get over the shavings. You definitely had a good sleep last night, didn't you? Yeah. So, as you can see, it is the next day. I didn't actually get to go shopping like I'd planned. Um, so, yeah. I'm hoping I might be able to do that today. Um, but I'm always on such a time limit these days. Oh, yummy. <laughs> 
yeah I'm always on a time limit which, uh, which sucks um, I feel like I never have enough time to do anything I think this is partly why <laughs> I think this is partly why I'm struggling to get into the Christmas spirit is just because like I have no time for myself anymore and that's partly why there's not been any vlogs I don't have much time to ride I don't have much time to go on adventures or do, <laughs> or do much fun stuff these days but um, yeah being a mum is hard people tell you how hard it is but you don't realise until you're in it but yeah I'm trying to make some time for vlogmas oh you really like them don't you um, so yes I am going to try and go shopping today I do need some chaff so I'm probably going to go to our local farm shop as well look in there see what festive uh, festive goodies they've got um, maybe get you some stuff for your Christmas stocking hey. um, I shouldn't say that should I I'll tell Santa what to put in your Christmas stocking <laughs> this morning we've got um, hazel something and we've put it in the top of our wardrobe and uh, she was sat on the bed luckily she was quite tired but she was just sat on the bed blabbering to herself and then all of a sudden her eyes just caught onto it and I was like, oh no, she's seen one of her Christmas presents. But luckily she was too t like tired to go, I want it, I want it. Um, so yeah, we've kind of avoided disaster there and it's back to being hidden. So hopefully she'll forget about it. Um, hello. Ah, oh, nice kisses, thank you. So yes, the plan is again to try and decorate Pepper's stable get myself in the festive spirit I'm still not quite there yet as you can probably tell I'm dressed all in black but I left my uh, my pudding my Christmas pudding hat in the car yesterday and it got quite wet yesterday so it is freezing yes I will be very cold if I put that on my head so I have my lovely Equilite head headband hat bobble hat thing on can you not eat my Equa dry coat please that was quite expensive I actually rode in this yesterday and quite impressed I really like it it's got double pockets on the side so you've got one there and then you've got another one underneath um, what else it's fleecy lined and it's got a hood which is also fleece lined it's got adjustable straps on the wrist which I need to adjust actually because they're too wide um, I like them to stay in place and what else we've got zips up the side so you've got two zips so that you can ride with it on and yeah, I've been really enjoying it. Feeling nice and warm and toasty today. We are due a storm as well, so this should be quite handy once the storm hits. But that does probably mean you're going to have another day inside today, Pip. Stop eating it! Anyway, I'm going to crack on with my jobs, then go to the farm shop, and then hopefully go shopping for some Christmas bits to make your stable all festive and Christmassy to go with your lovely rug. Does that sound good? She's like, just put me in the field. I can't, because no one else wants to go out. <laughs> you little woolly mammoth. Well, I've done all my jobs, but Pepsi looks like she's going to be staying in again because the weather's just turned and it's meant to just get worse through the day. So she's just got a little bit of spillers chaff because she was looking as if it was dinner time. And um, I laid a fresh bag of bedding down. I know I did put a handy bale in yesterday, but Tuesday's the usual day that I put one down anyway so I thought uh, it's not gonna hurt her if she's stuck in for a few days then at least she's got a nice big bed and look it looks so nice and white and clean for now <laughs> until she trashes it like she did last night but yeah still not quite sure where the day's gonna take me today I think I'm gonna head home and see whether Hazel's awake again because uh, I feel like I always complain about her bless her but she has been very poorly the last month another reason why I've had no time to myself is because she's just been ill for like the whole of November pretty much as you can probably tell I'm catching up with her getting some kind of bug that she's had um, so yeah I'm just gonna go home because she was up all night coughing didn't really sleep very well and neither did we so I left her going back down for a nap to come up here to do her so I'll go home see what she's doing she might wake up, want some lunch, and then hopefully I can go and do some Christmas shopping. <laughs> That's the plan. I'm go and get some like fairy lights and some tinsel for this stable. Cause look at it. Doesn't look very festive, does it? Hey Peps, we need to get our party on. Yeah. So that's the plan. Um, but we'll see. Oh, she's coming to say hello to you guys. Hi. Yeah, look, it's miserable. And 
No, it's a shame. Unfortunately, the way our yard works is in the winter we go on to limited turnout. So we aren't allowed to turn out until half 12. And obviously the weather was due to change and come like this at half 12, which the weather has been, you know, pretty accurate. So unfortunately the weather has started to turn. Um, and it's just the way of the world, isn't it? But yeah, I'll be back later on to maybe give you a leg stretch or something. Stop trying to eat it. Are you for real? <laughs> right, I'm going before she eats my coat. <laughs> Aww. And people say you're abused and that you don't love me. Yeah. What do you say to them? <laughs> what do we think? Shall we get her something for her stocking? Got lickets, busy licks, Uncle Jimmy's. Horse licks, she likes her horse licks. What do you think? Do you want to choose one? What is Pepper one? Yeah, I know there's too much choice, isn't there? There's just too much choice. Yeah, Peppa. Peppa, up there. Who's <laughs> smiling away there? Hey, Z. Oh, really? Wow, look at that, Hazel. What have you found? Mm. Christmas! Look at the state of my pony. And her rug, oh my god, Like if you get close up to the rug, can you see how caked that is in mud? That's what happens when you're in for a few days and you go out and you have a party! Yeah! Lots of grooming for me to do today then, as well as trying to decorate your stable. That's right folks, if you follow me over here, I finally got some supplies so we can decorate your stable today. Yeah! Woohoo! Have you done to your neck? It's gone all curly whirly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> May have uh, kind of broken my Christmas ornament trying to make a reel. Um, but I think I've I think I've got what I need. I'm literally taking sellotape off with a smart grooming um bin bin chin beard trimming thing like am i a genius or am i a genius i'm not a genius because it doesn't want to work now is anyone else like unable to tear um sellotape with their teeth i can't actually put my teeth together to like do that God, that's taken way longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> At what point, Amanda, are you going to tell me that I've lost the plot? I guess. At what point are you going to let me know that I've lost the plot? <laughs> How many YouTube videos will it take? <laughs>
gonna go and get a stepladder and I'm gonna leave you recording because I have a feeling that's not gonna be there when I get back and I'm gonna cry. into that hole more times than I care to admit today anyway <laughs> that's looking better that looks a bit more festive ah oh, pretty girl that's not gonna fit in there now is it oh no ah don't want that in there well guys the busy licks must not have wanted to go in Pepper's stocking for a reason because Busy Horse are very kindly gonna be giving away a Busy Licks to one of you guys. Oh my God, I heard a crack her teeth on that then. And a Busy Ball. Yes, I thought I would pop up to my local farm shop and get her one of the hangers and I'm gonna attempt to put this together. I've just got all the bits out of the box and I'm like, oh my God, how do I put this together? Got the instructions there on the back. So it should, in theory, <laughs> be easy <laughs> but this is me so the good thing about these hangers is they actually come with these aromatherapy kits so it's peppermint flavored Bye. and it's oh <laughs> i told you guys peps likes to give kisses over a stable door yeah so we've got the aromatherapy um oil here so that once your horse has finished their busy lick they can still enjoy playing with the toy and it still gives them a bit of enjoyment we're we gonna go for the mint one <laughs> i think this bit comes off hmm. there you go let me off i'm really poorly <laughs> yeah look you've got some shards there mm, yummy Right. <laughs> She's in the hole. In the hole. Hang on. I think I'm actually supposed to do this bit first. Oh my god, go away. Get off. Get off. Somewhere in there is a functioning brain cell. Just the one. But at least I've got one. Here we go. We're getting somewhere. The reason I like this so much is because Peps is notorious for biting licks and she just destroys them within no time but with this she physically can't open her mouth wide enough so it should last you a bit longer does that taste nice yummy <laughs> i like that it's a mix of pink and purple as well because Pe peps has like pink feed buckets and she has a purple water bucket but you can get pink or like a turquoise blue it's your choice guys if you win. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I think that'll last the ranges now. Normally, treats like this will last literally five seconds. She just demolishes them. So that's what I like about this, is that she physically can't do that. Very generous busy horse are giving away one of their lovely swingers which are available in pink and a nice turquoise color the winner will get to choose their color of choice and the flavor of choice there's an apple one here peps is enjoying a mint one at the moment and there's a few other flavors to choose from so you can find the perfect gift for your equine partner these are also great boredom busters for christmas day because i know a lot of us aren't going to be down the yard all day christmas day so something to keep them entertained in the stable and um, yeah, this is great for Peps because she can't jump on it like she would normally. Um, but if you are interested in entering the giveaway, then head over to my Instagram and Facebook page and you'll find out how to enter there. You've got to be in it to win it, guys. Good luck. I want to quickly show you guys something that I've picked up for Peps for Christmas, but I am going to give them to her now because I really want to use them. So I got a set. We've got one big pink bucket. So that could be used as like a water bucket or skip out bucket whatever you want to use and then i got two of these now peps has a really bad habit of destroying normal feed buckets like this like the deep ones 
um, where they're just plastic she just flattens them so I've always had to have the rubber ones but these ones are far more robust like they feel like she'll be fine with them the best thing about it and what sold me was they came with these plastic lids now we do have issues with rats and rodents and stuff on this yard so that's why I wanted to get it and it also like it does kind of clip into place so it should be quite safe but yeah i just thought they were really good so i got two of them with it and then they also sent this teeny tiny little bucket which i'm not really sure what i'm going to use it for but it's so cute i actually have one another one that's half the size of this one this is by rainbow trugs well that's the name of the the brand of these trugs but i got it from tpj equine supplies hopefully you can read that okay so that's the company that I bought them from but I thought I'd show you because I think they are super adorable and <laughs> they come in like a huge range of colours and everything and I think I paid £45 I want to say for the whole lot which I think is really good considering like they feel really good quality so yeah just felt like sharing that with you guys because I thought it was such a cute like idea for Christmas presents and they're also doing like with the lids they are doing some mix and match so you can go full matchy matchy like I have or you can mismatch a little bit so I, I actually kind of would have done that because they did um, they advertised it with a pink uh, tub truck thing with a purple lid and I was like oh my god that looks so good so you can mix and match as well which I think is pretty cool um, but yeah just wanted to give them a little uh, little bit of a plug it is a small business which I do like to support small businesses where I can and uh, yeah ideal Christmas present for an equestrian so there you go, there you have it. <laughs> well, there we have it guys. Pepper's stable is finally decorated. It only took four days, <laughs> but finally found some decorations. I can't believe how hard it was to find tinsel. It's ridiculous. I went in like four or five shops and I wanted to get some green tinsel, but could I find green tinsel anywhere? No, and I swear I've seen it before. Um, but yeah, we went to a really nice like, it's kind of a tucked away shop. They had quite nice Christmas stuff in, but even they didn't have a lot of tinsel. They had like four or five colors. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done anyway. I've got some mistletoe up there because Pep's likes giving kisses over the door. So I thought that was a cute touch. And then, oh, well, it's all hidden now. You've seen it, her stocking is over there and she's got a stud muffin calendar there. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed, even though it's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a chaotic vlog just trying to decorate a blooming stable. Now I need to get the flat decorated and then I think I'll be in the Christmas spirit. But I definitely feel and look a little bit more in the festive spirit, don't you think? I've got my Christmas hat on, my Christmas jumper. Peps' the stable's all done. Been listening to some Christmas tunes. So yeah, I think I'm getting there, guys. <laughs> and we have some uh, interesting videos planned, don't we, over the weekend. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, until the next one guys, I'll see you later. Bye.